This is the lesson for Jackson Pollock for District 51 Schools um, Art Heritage Program. And what it's going to be is you're going to get paint and paper in your boxes. Um, the paper is going to look like this. It's long. In format, it's not as big as Jackson Pollock would have painted, but you probably don't want individual children to be doing that. So if you choose to do the individual children's project, you'll get the paper like that. Um, you will also get um, tempera paint in uh, lots of different colors. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put paint in buckets around each station. And there will be one child per station and maybe three or four waiting and watching each at each station. And at each station you'll have different colors. You don't need to have all the colors for each station. Children can deal with whatever colors they get. I have in each bucket a little bit of paint. You could probably put in a whole lot more. Um, and I thinned the paint down to a very watery consistency. It's almost like a watercolor consistency. It's tempera paint. You need to probably at least do one water to one paint. In each bucket you want to put an old paintbrush, some sticks, different things that the children can use to drizzle the paint on the paper. You do not want them to fling paint or throw paint. That's not what Jackson Paul was about. So what we want to see them do is dip their little instrument, whatever, a paintbrush, into the paint and gently drizzle, drip, drop paint onto the paper. I'm going to use a little bit of black. I'm using an interesting little stick that I found. And I might want to use some more green. And they can do this as long as they feel like doing it. Fill up the paper as much as they want to fill it up. Black works fine. It won't obscure their paint at all. Yellow. Whatever colors they feel like using until they feel they're done. While the other students are watching. Then, when they're finished with their piece, it needs to be set aside to dry and another piece be put down and another child come in. Now, this is best done outside for obvious reasons. You'll want to have children either wear really grubby clothes that day or you'll want to have some really long adult male t-shirts that'll go right down to their ankles for the younger kids. Roll up their pant legs, have them take their shoes off just so that they don't get paint on their clothes. Um, that's it, if you have any questions, you know what my email is, call me, Amy Gibbs or Connie Robbins-Brady, if you have any questions. Thank you.